one of the simulations we're working on right now is an asteroid mitigation uh, calculation. We think asteroids are really uh, conglomerates of rocks just held loosely together by gravity. If one of these objects is discovered at a very short notice time, say a few months away, and is on an Earth crossing trajectory, uh, there could be potentially uh, devastation on a worldwide scale. What we're looking at is calculations uh, that perform real hydrodynamics on these objects uh, in order to understand whether we can uh, use an energy source of this magnitude to really disrupt this asteroid and prevent the hazard to the, to the entire Earth. This geometry is representative of what we believe the internal structure of an asteroid is. This is actually in the shape of the Itakawa asteroid. These are all granite rocks. The entire uh, size of this asteroid is half a kilometer. It's 500 meters from end to end. It's about 250 meters uh, uh, from side to side. And what you're looking at now is a 3D calculation that's running on Cielo, where I've placed a, a one megaton energy source at the surface on the long side of this asteroid. Uh, and we're watching the propagation of the shock wave uh, from the detonation point through the asteroid material, uh, imparting momentum uh, via the shock uh, interactions with the rocks. Uh, to the individual rocks and one rock hits the next rock and as a shockwave moves through ultimately this one megaton blast will uh, disrupt all of the rocks in the rock pile of this asteroid uh, and if this were a earth crossing asteroid would uh, fully mitigate the hazard represented by the initial asteroid itself. Uh, the calculations I'm running now on Cielo uh, in 3D um, our state-of-the-art calculations on 32,000 processors. This, this is mind-boggling to me. Uh, we've never run on this many processors. Uh, the, the code is acting normally, running very well. Uh, and in fact, we're able to run these calculations on this machine that we were not able to run on any other previous machine.